Fluffle Bubbles, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a GFX, but this time with Blender 2.79 and using a rig. I've done this video twice before, but I thought I would do an updated version because a few of you guys have been asking me how I make GFXs for my thumbnails. So today, that is what I will be teaching you guys. So before we start off, there are a few things I have to go over. First off, this is only for PC or MacBooks. Basically, you can't make it on phone or iPad, etc. And then also you're going to want to download a Roblox Studio onto your computer, an extension that allows you to load in your character, and Blender 2.79. As always, all these links will be linked down below in the description, so make sure to go click on those and download them. Trust me, they do not have viruses whatsoever, so it is safe for your computer. With that being said, let's just get right into the video. The first thing you want to download is something called Roblox Studio. It is by Roblox, so you just have to download it. And then before you open it, you also want to click the link in the description which says load character light. This is what I personally use to import my Roblox avatar. So you're going to want to press install and it'll hopefully open up Roblox Studio for you. And there we have it. Roblox Studio is now open and it has successfully installed. Next, you want to press base plate under new and it's going to load up this really basic place. Go to the top where it says plugins. You want to click that and hopefully load character will be right here. And this is basically where you can type in the name of your Roblox avatar that you want to import. So I'm gonna use my name, simply bubbly underscore YT. So here we have it, and you want to make sure to press spawn at origin. This blue little box, make sure to have an X on it, and then also spawn R6 instead of R15. You want to spawn R6. So here you have your Roblox avatar. By the way, use WASD to move in Roblox Studio. Next, you want to export your Roblox avatar as an OBJ so we can move it on over to Blender. So what you want to do is find where it says on the side where it says Explorer, and then where it says your Roblox name, you want to highlight that and then you want to right click it with your mouse and then scroll down to where it says export selection. So here is where you save your file. Personally, I do have a folder which is just for GFXs. So if you feel like doing that, I highly recommend making a folder probably under documents where you can save your GFX, but basically save it anywhere in your computer where you can find it. So I'm gonna save it here and then you want to name it. I'm just gonna name it my name and then you want to press save. So that is it for Roblox. Studio. Now you can exit out of it. And next we're going to be using something called Blender and we're using the version 2.79. There are newer versions but this is what I choose to use because to me it's much more simpler and I'm really used to it. So you want to click the link down below where it brings you to this page. Then you're going to want to find where it says download Blender 2.79b old. So you want to click this and it's going to bring up this confusing page but trust me it's kind of easy. It depends on what type of computer you use, what you download, but I use a Windows and so so I'm going to download a Windows 64 zip. If you use a Mac or Linux, you're going to want to download that, preferably a zip file, not an MSI. And then also if you're on a laptop, you download the 32. And if you're on a PC or a desktop, you want to download the 64, if this makes sense. But basically that's where you download Blender. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to want to open it. So I'm going to open Blender here. And this is where you get to start your process of actually making the GFX. It's going to bring up this thing that says Blender 2.79, you just want to click off of it. And what you're going to immediately want to do is go up to here where it says file in the top left corner. And you want to click that and then scroll down a little bit to where it says open. Click where it says open. And this next part is another thing you're going to want to download. It'll be linked down below in the description, but basically it is a rig. So make sure to go download that. And you're going to want to open your rig where you have it saved. So here is where I have it saved. It's called Woman Rig. And you just want to press that and then press open Blender file. This is gonna look a little weird and kind of creepy once it opens, but trust me, you're gonna be able to get rid of the creepy part. So first off, to move around in Blender, you want to press Shift F on your keyboard and then use WASD to move around and Q to go down and E to go up. Basically like moving in normal Roblox. So what you're gonna want to do is move yourself in front of the little guy here. To get rid of this ugly head that we're not gonna be using, you want to press B on your keyboard. It's gonna bring up this little guy and what you want to do is left click and hold down and select a bit of the head, about half of the head like this. It's going to hopefully select it in red. Then you're going to want to press delete X on your keyboard 
and boom, the head is gone. So that's good. Next, you want to right click the torso and then you're going to want to go up to the corner up here where it says location, this little bar here. It's kind of hard to spot, but just pay close attention to where my mouse is. These three little lines up here. So you want to click that and then drag down. So you want to click and drag and it's gonna open another little tab here. So you're going to want to go to the left side where it has this little cube guy next to view and select. You want to click the little cube and then you want to go up to where it says node editor. Click node editor and it's gonna bring up this. Now this is really easy so don't worry. You're going to want to zoom in to where you can find where it says image texture in this little box. So once you find image texture, kind of scroll into it, then you're gonna want to click this little file icon where it says open image. Click where it says that. Here is where you want to load in what you exported from Roblox Studio. You're gonna have to find that, so it's in my GFX file. And you're going to want to click where it says your username.png. Usually it's four or whatever the last number is. So you want to click it and then you want to press open image image and this will import the textures so you're not just plain white. Now you can get rid of all of this so to get rid of it go back to the three little lines up here in this corner and then you want to click it and drag up where it has that little arrow and then it'll go away. So just click it and drag up and it's gone. Next you're going to import your head so where it says file at the top left corner press it and then press down here import and then scroll down to where it says wavefront obj click that. You're going to want to import yet again the same thing you did before, so go to GFX and then find what you named it .obj, so with the name of the file .obj, you want to import that, and then boom. So next you're going to want to reposition your avatar. So here where it has these three little lines at the bottom kind of left corner, where it says global, it'll have these lines or it'll have like these little adjustment icons. Basically you're going to want to click the little arrow icon here. This is going to be able to move your avatar back and forth forth and such. So you're going to want to click the little red arrow here and you want to move your avatar to the side. Then next to where it says global once again, you're going to want to click the thing that says transformation manipulators. It looks like a slightly bended line. So you're going to want to click that and then it's going to bring up this. You're going to want to move your character on this blue line until it is facing forwards. Next you want to select the torso by right clicking and then you want to press shift and select both of the arms on each side and then you want to select both of the legs and then press delete X on your keyboard. This will get rid of the body so you don't have two bodies and now you can move your head and accessories onto the body that we are going to be transforming. So you're going to want to press shift on your keyboard and then right click all of your accessories, your head, your hair, basically everything over here. Once you have everything selected in this kind of red orange color, you're going to want to go back to this little arrow here thing here and then you're going to want to click this red arrow and move your head and accessories back onto your body. Once again, you can press shift F W A S D to kind of reposition yourself. I'm going to position myself right in front of my character. And here is where you finally get to change the pose and position of your character. So to position your arms, you're going to want to click this little tiny circle around the arm here. It's this one highlighted in this light blue. So you want to click that little circle and then you want to go to the kind of bended straight line here again. And then you're going to want to reposition it to how you want it. So just use these kind of circular little color things here. I'm not really sure how to describe them. Basically use them to kind of bend your arm. The more you mess with it, the more it'll make sense, but you can basically bend it up and down. And then to move it from this location here, you want to click this darker blue circle. And then you can also use these round things to kind of move it maybe more over here. Depends how you want your character. I'm going to kind of have it like gasping maybe, maybe kind of move it up like that. Then we're going to do the same thing with this other arm. So we're going to select this little red guy right there and then we can move it up or down using these arrows and then the same thing with this one so basically use those two points they're kind of like axes to move your character i also usually like to move the torso so you're going to want to select these thin little lines around the torso that are kind of green you want to select that and then you can use these to like bend it back and forth um, as you can see i'm twisting the body like a lot uh, that's not what you're going to want to do but you can like kind of use it to bend it sideways. I'm going to kind of do it like this maybe. And then also if you want to move the legs, 
you can select these little black lines around the bottom of her legs, kind of near her feet. These little guys right there that's selected in blue. And then you can use this to kind of put it backwards like this. You can put your leg back. You can kind of make it look like you're running if you select these lines right there. And then you can use the red line to make it go backwards like that. And then you can do the same with this one. You can make it go forward if you go like this. And then you have your character running, kind of just keep messing with it because eventually it'll make more sense the more you kind of mess around with it. And so that is how I want my character positioned. So once you have your character done being positioned, you're going to want to adjust the settings. So make sure to follow my clicks very precisely. First off, you're going to want to go to the right hand side where it has this little earth icon on these little boxes. It's going to have this little earth guy and then you want to click that. Scroll down to where it says ambient occlusion and click that box so it has a little check mark. Then you you want to go to where it has this little camera icon over here you want to click the camera you want to scroll down a bit to where it says FFM PG video you want to click that and then find where it says PNG this makes your image PNG so the background you can put on thumbnails and such I highly recommend this and then across from where it says PNG where it's highlighted blue RGB you want to click RGBA instead so make that highlighted in blue then scroll down under the camera icon and where it says transparent click that Next, over here on this little bar where it says transform, scroll all the way down on this, and then where it says shading, you want to click down on shading, press shadeless, back face cooling, and ambient occlusion, and this will make your GFX look much better. If you want to change the resolution or image size of your GFX, go under the little camera icon, and you can press X or Y, and you can just change the numbers here to change how big or small you want your GFX to look. The bigger the number, the better resolution it is, so basically the the better quality so if your computer isn't that great I don't recommend making it the best quality ever but this works for me I personally like keeping it how it is so that is just if you want to change the quality or size of the image we are almost almost done so the last few steps is that you want to select like the hair or the head I'm just gonna select my hair and you want to press shift a on your computer then you're going to want to press where it says camera it's gonna bring up this little tab you want to press camera and then it'll bring up a camera so you're going to want to go down to the bottom left corner where it says view highlight that click it then go up a little bit and it says camera and it'll bring you to the camera so this is how you positioned where you want the GFX to like be so for example if I rendered this right now you would basically see what is inside this box so you want to make sure that your GFX is inside the box to do that you're basically just going to want to move around by pressing shift F then using WASD to move I'm gonna kind of move it right in front of my GFX like this and so that's how I want it to look inside this box so once you have your camera positioned you're going to want to go to the top left hand corner where it says render click render then go down one where it says render image click that and boom it'll start rendering your image if you're happy with how it rendered in the final product you're going to want to press where it says image in the bottom left hand corner press that then scroll up a bit to where it says save as image click it and then you're going to want to name it whatever you want and then you're going to want to save it wherever you want to i'm just going to save it under desktop because it's easy to get to and boom there you have your final image hopefully this video helped you out and made sense if you guys have any questions please leave them down below in the comments and i will try my best to respond to them and hopefully help you guys out this is just how i make gfx's i know everyone does it kind of differently but this is personally how i do it for my thumbnails and i know you guys have been asking for this so here you have it if you'd like an updated tutorial on how i make my thumbnails or edit my videos etc please let me know also down below because i would honestly love to help you guys out and make videos like that so yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more and I'll see y'all later. Bye my beautiful bubbles